everyone it's Sylvie here and welcome back to my channel if you guys are new to my channel please like and subscribe and hit that like and subscribe buttons so you can guys can see all my new upcoming videos and be part of my notification squad Woo! um so unfortunately I never got to get my frames for my diamond paintings from Hua Ken. Um, as the place that I went to unfortunately didn't have the frames that I needed in size that I wanted. So I have to try and look around and see what I can find the next time I go shopping, which should hopefully be soon. So fingers crossed. Um, so before I do my progress video, I would like to show you guys my diamond storage. I did kind of be, do a little bit of a tidying slash upgrading kind of thing over the last 24 hours. I bought some more containers and organized my diamonds a little bit better. So I'll just show you guys. So I'm just going to move you guys down here so you guys can see. Okay, so as you saw in my last video, this was my storage that I used. But now I have this one. Nice, big, giant container. This one was only $9.00 from shiploads and this one I bought was eight dollars from the reject shop so these are basically the same containers and they are both stackable with each other which is really convenient these um, also are removable so you can change them as you like so that's really really good so I'll show you guys my So I'll show you guys my new storage. So what I did was I purchased um, these resealable bags and I purchased a pack of 400 of these labels that you can see here. Um, and I trimmed the labels so like this and I took my scissors and I peeled back the label like so and I cut it with my scissors like that and I stuck that to the bag and that's what I did for my diamonds um, with the DMC codes. The ones that don't have DMC codes, I just kept them in their own bags. So, for example, I used this, these little tiny ones that came with my diamond paintings just for the diamonds that had the DMC codes that only had a small amount of diamonds because... I thought there was no point using a massive size bag like this um, just for a small amount of diamonds like this. So I thought that would have been a bit of a waste. Uh, so I only just used the smaller bags just for those diamonds. And then what I did with all the diamonds was I filled them all up into the bigger bags which had more diamonds in that particular colour. So these are all my 310s. And these are all the 938s. And that's a lot of diamonds. So these size, which were the medium size, you get a pack of 80. And I only paid $2 for these. And I only use these for the diamonds that have a lot of diamonds of that particular colour. And then I also bought a bigger bag. Um also for two dollars which come in a pack of 50 i think as well and that was to hold 
all the diamonds as you can see here I have all the diamonds so far that are sorted that have the DMC codes in their own bag inside their own bags like I've done here with these two so that's what I did with the diamonds that have the DMC codes just for temporarily I haven't been able to get a different system at the moment there have been some people saying that using the resealable bags is not really a good idea because they can break but I find it only occurs if you get bags that are kind of not manufactured correctly like if they've got faults in them or if they are really really thin like these little tiny ones um, but these ones are a lot better quality and therefore I have not had any issues with these breaking whatsoever. So these ones are definitely worth investing in. And one thing I also noticed when I was sorting through my diamonds was that not all the DMC codes diamonds are the same colour. Even though these look the same code of the 754s, um, these particular diamonds aren't the exact same. And I'll show you guys what I mean. Um, as you can see, the shade of the diamonds is slightly different. This one is lighter. So this is the one from Huacan. This is another one which is from another diamond painting that I completed. And you can see the diamonds are slightly a different colour. Even though they've got the same DMC code. So you have to be really, really careful. Um, especially with co some companies, the DMC codes are, even though they're the same, their colour might be slightly different. So just be aware when you're sorting your diamonds into their own baggies to make sure that the codes and the colours are the exact same. Even if the code might be the same, the colour might be slightly off. So, yeah. So those are those um, are the same DMC code, but they're slightly different colour. So I'm going to wait and see if there's any more diamond paintings that I have um, that will have this particular colour and if they have ones that match say the Huacan one if another diamond paintings diamonds match this particular colour I'll put those both together in this bag so that's what I found out when I was sorting out these only yesterday <laughs> But so for now, I'm pretty okay with my current system um, with my diamond storage. Though I do want to try and find another solution instead of just using the bags. Because I find many, many bags can take up space. But then I also know that if you get little containers with lids they're very bulky and the bags are more flat so you can fit multiples of bags into the system so I'll show you guys what I mean by that so I'll just quickly So I hope you guys are all having a wonderful weekend. I know I am. Um, I spent the weekend with my lovely partner and we um, did some quality time um, doing a bit of gaming together and um, we both went shopping together and we went out for lunch yesterday which was really nice for our date. Um, 
and just enjoying each other's company, which was really, really lovely. Okay, so this is how I've done my storage. So I'll bring you guys a little closer so you guys can see. I'll just bring you guys down here. You can't really see much, but in this container, you can see all the bags with the diamonds in their own little baggies. And I've got them all in numerical order so far, but I still have a few to go through. And I've got all my canvases in this other section with these extra slots, um, which are the removable organizer parts um, inside this section here of the container. So all of the diamonds in their bags are in this um, section. And all the diamonds have been allocated with their own particular painting that they came with. So by saying that, the diamonds have been sorted into their own bags with the diamond painting number. And these are mainly for particularly the ones that don't have the DMC codes. So then when I do get the DMC chart to figure out what the codes are, they've been put in their own little bags um, for that particular painting they came with. So then when it does have their own code, I'll be able to put them into their own bags like I did with my other bag of diamonds like this and then what I do with this well with all these is I put them on the side like this and it can fit multiple bags of diamonds in the one section so at the moment in each section we've got about um, so I've got one two three four there's five bags of diamonds in this section all with their own painting numbers and then in this one we have two bags for my um my square painting which is from Hula Can as well because it's a very big painting which is a 40 by 50 as I said so there's a lot of diamonds there's exactly 30 colors in both of these bags <laughs> um, but they're numbered a little differently so this one has 1 to 13 this one has 14 to 30 and then we've got the three more bags here So each section holds about five bags of diamonds at the moment, but can hold a lot, lot more. And in this section, just I store my canvases that I've completed or haven't completed yet. And I've also got the extra, the labels here as well in this section. And I've got another canvas here rolled up. And I've also got the little extra foam core here. And the extra um, things that slot in the side. So that's how I've stored this particular container for my diamonds. So I'll move you guys back over here.
so you guys can see. Oh, it's a bit funny. Okay, there we are. That's better. And now with this one, I'll show you this one. So I'll put you guys up here and show you. Okay, so this one is kind of a little bit different. This one I use mainly 